Premier League Finals at Wembley on the 25th of May. All Ireland here in Cardiff night. Yep, superstar for the night with these uh, two challenge matches with plenty of entertainment. And this man, Gary Anderson, superb to watch early on. Was a bag of nerves in the build-up to the game, but started superbly, rocketed into a 2-0 lead. And uh, now, one leg ahead of this man. Three-time world champion. Terrific atmosphere here. The fans enjoying their night at the darts here at the CIA. Very close to Cardiff City Centre. Oh, yeah, man. They love their dance. They're here from Rumley. They're here from the Ronda. They're here from the Nathalie Way here. Lovely dance. Lovely dance. Fine. Johnny Pont, race to seven this, perfect first dart, Old Scotsman, a lovely line, here we go then, 109, plays 99, Party tail himself, practicing will be taking notice of what Anderson's doing here, there could be a lot of rivalry with it, since Anderson joined the PDC in February, has made finals, clears finals, certainly has ladies breakthrough eight years ago now in the Welsh Open ironically and qualified for the Lakeside Championship the following year Gary Anderson who I'm sure we're going to see plenty more of in forthcoming months yeah good character to thrive against the TLF and Kings a part of this world and the Barneys this uh, the blue water between him and his opponent Early in Tandy. Bad shot then for party to pull level is 60 double 10. Back 20 would be alright to be hitted. Gone for the solid way anyway. Wants the top lipstick for level. Well, chance for Anderson now for 4 2. Topsy needs now. And Topsy gets Gary Anderson. He's hit 50% of his double attempts so far in this game. He's got an average of almost 106, and he's got a 4-2 lead. To get the reputation of being a brilliant floor player, that's what they play with dozens, indeed hundreds, with partitions only, and only made to spectators. But this will be a giant stride, getting the field for the big events like UK Open. And the World Match 3 and the World Grand Prix. This Premier Dark League ambience is pretty good. 105.7 players, a very healthy 97 from Park. Anderson Chun, that he wow. is. Bit of shoulders. And take the tungsten against these lot. And as we mentioned, a massive night in the context of his career. Wow. The same applied to Mark Webster in the first game of the night. It really is. Great experience for these guys. Gary Anderson in control. 4 2 lead here. Don't you probably know that um, Pond's best with an exit uh, I mentioned earlier when he beat King from 6 3 down, being made 6. Best night in the league where he's been very patchy. Yeah, just the two wins. That's what's proved costly where John Part is concerned. Two wins in 12 in the Premier League, five draws, five defeats, if only he could have converted a couple of those draws into wins, he would have been in the shake-up right down to the wire. And talking about the shake-up, the big question is, Wayne, Taylor can't play each other, and Barney and King can't play each other, so we will be seeing the mix-up very soon, double aiding just below the wire, Right then, it's a big, big ass. He needs to plant two lipsticks first. Bad shot. Lost the weight. Regained the weight. Well, magnificent recovery from Anderson, but could be too late. Double nine coming in from John Part. It's two shots now. Double four. Oh, back. 
magnificent just when the pressure was on. He knew that Anderson was breathing down his neck and he responded in style with that dart in the green bit. And Anderson now just four free ahead. Best of 13. And plenty of entertainment in this challenge match, folks. That's a massive win in the Premier League in its inception, in part. I did two nine threes against one against Colin Lloyd, and one against Wayne Model. But as Nigel suggested, it's been lacklustre since we kicked the action off in Liverpool 14 weeks ago. Good to see new faces on the stage like Anderson. Wow. And earlier Webster, of course, who had the backing of this magnificent crowd. Really is good to see the, uh, the new players coming through and starting to really make a mark. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great night down here with the Welsh crowd at the St David's Hall cheering on the likes of Evans and Rees. And I do remember when we good for Brian Langworth from Yorkshire and his England debut and was man of the match. Always great to see. Emergent talents. We've all heard great things about Anderson. Shown you what he's made of here. About to take the lead again, Nige. Yeah, 1-2-1 one, one needed starts superbly went for the triple 11 needs the ball now Gary Anderson hits the target brilliantly for a 5-3 lead against the three times world champion look at that absolute precision well ladies and chairman Barry Hearn was amongst one of the people smart connoisseurs of the game who mentioned the Anderson talent three or four years back and he has grown leaps and bounds to say two magnificent victories in Holland in the International Darts League and in the World Darts Trophy and here he is with the PDC and we are seeing the nature of his metal and the specific density of that metal is Tungsten yeah brilliant at the uh, Grand Slam two years on the trot as I mentioned earlier getting to the semi-finals superb achievement two years on the spin and now another full house for Anderson reminiscent with that casual arrogance of John Thomas Wilson of Kirkcaldy I can get no great afraid and Anderson's average now up to almost 109 he has given a really good account of himself Gone the days when he flung his darts into the lake at Lakeside for the fishies to nibble on, but now he's nibbling with sharks. Tops needed for John Parks. You can't keep a good player down.